Welcome to this weekend's project. This weekend, I've got the trailers in the background. Why? Well, if you guys recall from previous videos that I've done, this trailer is not mine. It's actually my father's trailer. Um, this is the only one that I own. But I used this trailer uh, when I went to go purchase the furniture for my pontoon. Uh, that's been well over a month ago. And I've got some stuff in there that I need to empty out. I want to give it back to him. I'm going to clean that the, the inside of the trailer, make sure it's nice. But I'm also going to clean the exterior of the trailer, uh, which he's not expecting. And I'm going to make it nice and shiny because he wants to sell it. He has no, no need for it. So stick around because it's going to be a fun little project. Uh, no, it's not. I'm going to keep it small today. I've got a knee infection that I'm dealing with. So I've got to move the pontoon boat. I've got to gotta move that one because there's stuff in that one that needs to go in that one just you know what I should have just left it with stick around You guys are about to realize the reason why I used that trailer to haul the furniture. This is where I have, I don't know, 80% of my Harley Davidson F-150 furniture and I've got town car parts in there and earlier in the birth of this channel, uh, I wanted this as my mobile studio, whatever, uh, but channel's not there yet. so. Neither is my trailer. Uh, I'm using it for storage. Got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, when I was washing the furniture, you see re the recliner out here. Um, and I did end up, end up using it because it just doesn't fit on the pontoon. So I have to sell that recliner. I have no use for it. Um, got some other stuff in there. Boat stuff, anchors, uh, fender buoys. Stuff that right now I'm not ready to put on the boat just yet. So I'm just gonna have to throw them in here, you know, so I could clean that one over there. this one I mean all I need to do is just put it back there but I can't because I'm hitched up to that one and if I was to unhitch it I can't fit this one over there all right I moved over to the shade because honestly the Sun is just beating down on the back of this trailer and it makes no sense for me you know anyway so I'm gonna hit the high speed again
I'll get you up close here so you guys can see what's going on with the surface of this trailer. Quite typical with people that don't wash their trailers ever. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the entire trailer, but basically uh, what you see here is on the entire surface of the trailer. It's not going to come off unless I hit it with a specific product that's meant specifically for this. So, again, I'm not going to show you to go around the entire trailer or anything like that. You guys can just use your imagination because the entire trailer is like this. And I'm sorry about moving the camera so much. Now, the product that I use to remove this, which, by the way, it's mildew. This is mildew on the paint surface. It's a marine mildew remover, okay? And it works amazing. Now, here's the thing. I bought this specifically for the furniture on my pontoon. So I don't want to waste all of this. This is a very expensive bottle. Instead, I am going to use this, but not so much. So instead, if you guys remember, I've already introduced you guys to this product in the past, and it's called Totally Awesome. Uh, they sell this at the dollar store. It is an extremely powerful degreaser, and it does, it does exactly what the other one does on a lower level. Um, so I'm going to start hitting with this. And just... With that one. You know, I'm going to do that. Let it work its magic and then take it all off. I figure by mixing them both, I'll make a chemical reaction and just blow it up maybe, you know? Now this brush has seen better days, so it's a perfect candidate for this. Alright, well, 
she's done. Honestly, all I can say is wow. This thing has gone from something that looked like it's 20 years old to something that looks like I just bought it brand spanking new. Wheels come out nice and beautiful with no more greasy stains and rusty and you know just nastiness. This side, for some reason, had a lot of that black. Well, I'm sure you guys saw it. Had to, you know, a couple times. But it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. It looks beautiful. Not one streak on it anymore. And honestly, it just, I want it. I can't keep it, but yeah, beautiful. Let me, uh, let me show you around. We're done. Quick project. To you guys, it was about this small. For me, it was about three hours. I wanted to make sure I hit it with a lot of detail. You guys see it in quick motion, you know, fast speed. But in reality, it's something that took a little bit of time uh, to remove the stains on the wheels. It also took a little bit of time. But uh, overall, like I said earlier, very happy with the end result. I just sent my dad a video. I'm sure he's gonna, his jaw's gonna drop. He's gonna wonder if I traded this trailer in for something else. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. You know, it's a small project, but you guys are still here. Thank you. So, uh, see you guys next week. You know, same time, same channel. You know, same network. It's a YouTube network. Listen, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.